Hey guys, welcome to a new update video. In today's video, we want to show you that we now also support dark posts or ads, if you like to call them, for Facebook and Instagram under the comment keyword trigger. So once you have set up an ad, it should automatically show up under the section itself. So I already went ahead and tried to test a few things. So if I go towards the common key trigger, which you can access by going through the automations tab on the left hand side, and then go towards common keywords. You can then enter a new common keyword and basically end up in the exact same overview as I have. From here, it might take a few more moments to load because it also fetches the, uh, the basically the ads themselves, right? But as you can see, I just selected my ad here. This, these are all your Facebook posts, as you can see. And for me, the ads at least are displaying on top. So if I go all the way on top, this one is my ad. So if I take a look at the ads manager itself, you can see that I have, and let me just zoom in a little bit. You can see that this is my ad copy. Want to grab access to my masterclass on how to create 100% human generated content by ChatGPT for free. And then just type ChatGPT and I will send it right away, right? So that is this, basically this ad. Uh, I'm going to go with the comment if is anything because I also want to comment on other related questions that the user might post under that specific ad. So I don't want to bother with commenting myself with commonly asked questions. I just want to set that up as well. I'm not going to go with a public reply to comment because we are going to set all the replies up inside the flow itself. On the right hand side, you can see that we are going to save the comment payload to a specific JSON field. I created this JSON field, you can create your own. And this is just a JSON field called Facebook ads comments. And um, on the bottom, you will see that I have a few things enabled, reply to new users, reply to existing users, like the user's comment and reply to replies to comments. Those are all enabled by me. Of course, you can uh, customize this towards your own liking, but reply to new users and reply to existing subscribers is really needed. Let's just get out of this comment trigger. The next thing that you will need to do and ensure is that you have connected your Facebook account on the integration section for Facebook ads. So if we go there, we also need to ensure that under the integration tab, if we scroll all the way down, we have a Facebook ads section. You will need to basically connect with your Facebook ads management and then also select your business manager in order to be able to fetch the ads themselves and also have the proper permissions to respond on those ads. If you have any issues with permissions and um, basically accounts do not show up, we have a dedicated video to troubleshoot that and we will post that right above right now. Once connected, you can basically go towards the connected flow. So for me, I connected this flow and it's just a few notes, but basically what I'm doing here, soon as the payload is being triggered, right? So someone comments, the user comes into this specific note. And what I'm doing here is first, I'm going to check the Facebook ads comment match a specific value. So if you remember inside of my Facebook ad, I had a specific keyword trigger, just type chat GPT. So I want to check whether or not the user has this value. And I set it up like this. So if Facebook ads comments has item match with the following value, chat GPT, then we need to go and reply towards the user. And the reply is a really simple reply. This is just a test message, but you can replace the first name, of course, with the uh, uh, first name value or the full name value rather, so the username. And there is no need to test a request and map anything. If everything goes well, you will just get a status OK with a comment ID, which you could, of course, map if you like to and do follow up replies based on that uh, specific ID. I will just leave it at this for now. This is fine. And then soon as that reply has been sent towards that specific comment, I'm also going to PM the user with the link towards my masterclass. Now, if the condition is not met, so the Facebook ads comment is not chat GPT, I'm basically going with an embedding match. 
And inside this embedding match, I'm going to basically search through my embeds. And as you can see, the input value is Facebook ads comment and then dollar sign dot message. So you can grab that. Basically, if you go and want to preview the data, you will need to add yourself as an admin of the chatbot. But you can see that we have some values here and we are going to map this specific section. So we want to map the users basically comment slash question. Once done, we are going to search through the OpenAI embeds. So for example, do you also have any templates? If I test a request, I get a few, of course, a few values back. And inside I'm going to map the embed text. So I'm going to map this part and I'm also going to map the score because after this step, I want to check if the score is high enough, yes or no. And if yes, generate a variation of this reply with chat GPT or otherwise uh, go with an additional action, right? So I'm going to map these two values. Or the next step is to check the opening I score. Is it greater than or equal to 0 0.8? If yes, I'm going to create a chat completion. As you can see here, the system message I am leaving empty right now, but you can give the chat GPT system a role, right? I did that in the other action for chat completion, which I will show you in just a few seconds. But basically what I'm stating here, create one variation of the open AI embed text. Then we are going to basically save the response towards a new custom field. And that is something that we will use in the Facebook ads comments reply. As you can see here, Facebook adds comments slash comment ID, right? That is the one that we want to reply to. So if we take a look here inside the JSON, you will see that under the comment sample data that we want to respond towards this section. So the comment ID. Then we are going to respond with the chat GPT response because that is the variation that we created and that should reply on the post itself. So if the score is not high enough, we are going with a create chat completion step. And if we take a look inside, you will see that I have some guidelines. So you are the representative of myself. Never respond with I am an AI language model. Always respond in the first person. If a user is congratulating me, then respond in a friendly and short reply. Add a fitting emoji when able and also vary them often. Then we are still going to pass the specific message. As you can see here, the Facebook ads comment uh, and then dollar sign dot message. And then based on this, we are going to generate a certain text completion or a chat completion in this case. And then we are going towards the exact same action block. So let's test this out. Let's preview this ad inside of the desktop feed. So let's go with the ad itself. As you can see, it shows up here nicely inside the desktop feed and we can go with a specific comment. So if I am com commenting with chat GPT, I should get also get a specific PM. We get the auto like, right? So we know that the auto comment trigger on this specific uh, ad post is working. And if we refresh this, so let's go and go towards this post. So if we take a look, you will see, hey Mark, so great to see you are interested in the masterclass. Just press the button below to check it out for free. And if we take a look at the flow, that is exactly what we set up here, right? So the Facebook ads comment matches the value chat GPT. And from here, it goes towards the Facebook API to comment this specific reply. So the comment that we see here. And then from here, we get the button to press towards the masterclass. So basically this is just a simple promotion for a, a YouTube video on my channel about this. And uh, this is also a way to grow your YouTube channel, by the way. Basically, if we press this, it goes towards my specific channel. As you can see here with the video itself. All, let's also test if we can just fill in some dummy data, right? So, or ask certain questions because we set up the flow for this. So let's see if it works. So let's say how to best contact you. So let's see if the comment trigger can reply to this as well. So we should get an auto like in just a few seconds and we just got it. 
And if we refresh the page, we should now also get a reply. So if we take a look at the response itself, you will see that we have a response from the chatbot. So if you have any inquiries, feel free to contact me through email at and then my email or send me a direct message uh, at my messenger link, right? So as you can see, it will auto display my messenger link. If I state something like, uh, what is the best chatbot platform uh, to build an automation on? Because I know I have an embed about this as well. So let's see if uh, if the common trigger and OpenAI embedding match along with ChatGPT is able to give me an answer. So as you can see, it's going to be on top if we go and refresh the page. So as you can see, we also have the outdoor like again and the reply itself. Selecting the perfect platform can be a challenging task as what works for best for one person might not necessarily suit the others. However, for me, the ideal choice is UChat, of course. This is an all-in-one platform with showcasing some features, as you can see here. And then we also basically have some general information about the platform itself. So you can see that it auto-fetches it from my Facebook reply as well. You can see that the reply has been cut off here. What's remarkable about UChat is that it provides the option for if this happens, it means that you need to increase your token size. So if we go inside and go towards this chat completion step, that the max tokens are set to 100 and you will need to increase this. I usually set it just to 500 tokens and that should basically generate the complete completion, right? But let's save this and let's publish this. And then we have a complete setup going. So as you can see, you can now also reply towards Facebook ads and it should also work for your Instagram ads. You can set up this common trigger to reply on all posts and then this setup will allow you to separate all the different kinds of posts inside of the single flow. For example, by checking the Facebook ads comments. So if you have a particular keyword that you want triggered to basically give the user something in return, you can go with this, these kinds of conditions and otherwise you can search through embeds to provide users with a specific answer towards their question as well. So this is a fantastic way to get your ads for Facebook and Instagram completely automated for any kind of support related queries, which you could previously only do with dialect flow, of course, but now you can unlock the power of OpenAI along with ChatGPT. So if you like this video, do consider dropping a like because it will help us outgrow the channel and let more users experience the power of UChat. If you have any questions, do drop them down below in the video comment section or submit a ticket or of course share it inside our Facebook group. For now, have a great day, take care and talk to you really, really soon.